The ASU International Students and Scholars Center provides many services for international students, including SEVIS reporting and compliances. SEVIS is the Student Exchange Visitor Information System, the database used by the U.S. Department of Homeland Security to monitor international students studying in the U.S. Let's talk about your visa and immigration documents. As an international student, you are here on either an F-1 or a J-1 student visa. F-1 visas are for students whose school funds are provided by their family or personal means. F-1 students are issued an I-20 form. J-1 visas are for students whose funds are provided by either their home government or U.S. entity. J-1 students are issued a DS-2019 form. When you arrive in the United States, your passport will be stamped with your arrival date, your visa status, and your approved duration of stay, or DS, in the United States. You will receive an electronic record of your I-94. If you arrive at the border by either car or sea, you will receive an I-94 card. If your immigration documents are not cleared to the Port of Entry Officer, you may receive an I-515A form. If you receive this form, it generally indicates that your immigration status is not clear and your duration of stay is limited to only 30 days. If you receive this document, you must meet with an ISSC advisor as soon as possible to clear your visa status. As soon as you arrive to ASU, you must report to the International Students and Scholars Center, or ISSC, through MyASU. You must have your immigration forms, passport, visa, and I-94 ready before you can report your arrival. The Tempe Campus ISSC office is located in the Student Services Building, Room 170. You must keep your immigration documents valid at all times. F1 students must maintain a valid I-20. If you will not complete your degree program by the date listed, you must request an extension of your I-20 from our office before your I-20 expires. Please keep copies of all your I-20s indefinitely. J-1 students must check Section 3 on your DS-2019. If you will not complete your degree program by the date listed, you must request an extension from the ISSC office or your program sponsor before your DS-2019 expires. Keep copies of all your DS-2019s indefinitely. Your I-20 or DS-2019 must correctly reflect your current major, level of study, and name as indicated on your passport. Please review your I-20 or DS-2019. If any of the information is not correct, please contact ISSC so that we can update your record accordingly. Your passport must be valid at all times. If you need to renew or replace your passport while you're in the U.S., please contact your country's embassy or consulate. Your visa stamp does not need to be valid while you are in the U.S. However, if next time you travel outside of the U.S. and your F-1 or J-1 visa has already expired, you will need to contact the U.S. consulate abroad to renew your visa. Visa processing might take time, so plan accordingly. Canadian students will not have a printed visa in their passport. As an F-1 or J-1 international student, you are subject to mandatory fees. The Health and Accident Insurance and International Student Visa Administration fees will be automatically billed to your student account every semester. Your visa status is your responsibility. Failure to maintain your visa status in immigration documents may have major consequences, which may include denial of certain immigration benefits like work authorization and future visas. Failure to maintain your visa status can also lead to deportation. Remember, we are here to help you with any visa or document questions you may have, so don't hesitate to contact us.